Talk about going back to the drawing board, the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold is radically different than the original Pixel Fold. In fact, it's the biggest evolution I have seen in years from one phone model to the sequel and these are very impressive changes. The main display is now 8 inches up from 7.6 inches making this the biggest screen on a foldable and it's 80% brighter. The 6.3 inch cover screen is still plenty wide out but with a narrower aspect ratio to easily slip into a pocket. At 0.2 inches thick open and 0.4 inches closed, this is one of the thinnest foldables on earth. Weighing a little bit more than 9 ounces, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is refreshingly lighter. The AI features are actually more impressive than gimmicky with quick results thanks to the Tensor G4 chip. It's almost like Google read all the reviews and comments about the first Pixel Fold and came up with a checklist of things to improve and then they executed. Google didn't radically change the cameras on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold but you do get an improved ultra-wide camera with dedicated macro mode now. The Google promises better panoramic photos that are easier to take and look way better in low light. So did Google do enough to make our best foldable phone list? We'll have to do our full testing first but based on my initial impressions, this device certainly has what it takes to challenge the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and OnePlus Open. Here's what I think about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold so far. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold has a release date of September 4 and you can pre-order right now. The starting price is $1799 US dollar for 256GB of storage but you can upgrade to 512GB. While that's a pricey phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 starts at $1899 US dollar so it's $100 more expensive than the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. The OnePlus Open is $1699 US dollar but can be found on sale for as low as $1399 US dollar. Holy cow, that's what I say to myself when I first put my hands on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. It has a very different look and feel than the original Pixel Fold. The front display is narrower and the main display is taller which means that you get a more compact device when closed and a mammoth 8 inch display when open that's bigger than most other foldables. Just as important, the main display loses the unsightly big bezels and has the equivalent of two 20 to 9 screens side by side. The result is that popular apps should fit on the screen normally which was a big problem with the original fold. There is some other things I really like about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold design. The first is that the display actually folds flat this time around and when open, this is the thinnest foldable on the planet at just 0.2 inches unfolded and 0.4 inches folded. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is also lighter at 9.1 ounces, that's way less than the first fold's 10 ounces but heavier than the Z Fold 6 and OnePlus Open. There is also a new stainless steel hinge with aluminum alloy cover that's designed to be more durable. You get IPX8 water resistance but like other foldables, no dust resistance. The only nitpick I have with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold design is that the camera block is fairly large and dominates the left side of the phone. It doesn't have a sleeker camera bar like the other Pixel 9 Pro models. The 8-inch OLED display on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold dwarfs that of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and OnePlus Open and yet it doesn't feel unwieldy in the hand. Another plus is that Google boosted the brightness of the main display 80% so it now has a peak brightness rating of 2700 nits. This should make the screen easier to see in direct sunlight and was one of our biggest complaints with the original Pixel Fold. I watched the trailer for Captain America Brave New World on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and it looked pretty vibrant. I also appreciated that the crease also the main display isn't as prominent this time around. 
The front 6.3 inch OLED cover display is narrower but overall bigger from corner to corner than the 5.8 inch cover screen on the Pixel Fold. I prefer this design because the original Fold was a bit too wide up front. Don't expect big camera hardware upgrades as the Pixel 9 Pro Fold sports a very similar 48 megapixel main camera, 10.5 megapixel ultra wide camera, and 10.8 megapixel telephoto camera with 5x optical zoom and 20x digital zoom. But the ultra wide camera is improved as you now get a macro mode that kicks in when you get close to a subject. I got a great looking close up of a flower with sharp edges. Google has also improved the panorama mode making it more intuitive to line up your shots with an easy to follow guide as you pan around. I got a striking photo of the Hudson River waterfront. Google also promises much better looking panoramic shots in low light that I look forward to testing. The front camera on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold 10 megapixel and the inner camera is now 10 megapixel off from 8 megapixel. And to help make snapping photos of kids a bit less stressful, there is a made you look feature that display fonts animations on the front of the screen. This is easy to activate and there is several options to choose from. When it comes to video, Google promises that night side video will help capture footage in dim conditions with AI helping to reduce noise in your footage. The Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold is a mouthful when it comes to saying the name but it mostly lives up to it given all the changes Google has made to this foldable phone. You get a huge main display in a super thin design that's easier to carry, a powerful Tensor G4 chip, and impressive AI features that make Apple intelligence look quiet. I also appreciate the redesign aspect ratio for the displays and the modest camera upgrades. And that brings me to my biggest complaint. While the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is no slouch in terms of camera specs, it trails the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL with their more powerful 48 megapixel ultra wide and telephoto lenses versus 10 megapixel for the Fold. The Pixel 9 Pro and XL have longer 30x digital zooms too. Nevertheless, I'm excited with everything Google has brought to the table with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. It's not only the most improved foldable, it could be the new foldable phone to beat.